name is Vicky, and I am sitting in the middle of the garage. I'm making dirt today. So I've got here the mixture of Beets Peat, which is a coconut husk fiber that absorbs water really well. It keeps the soil nice and fluffy, and it doesn't destroy our ecosystems like peat moss does. Um, in my thinking, it replaces both peat moss as well as the vermiculator perlite, because the reasoning for vermiculator perlite is to keep it nice and fluffy. The coconut fiber holds a ton of water, yet is easily broken up and stays nice and fluffy. So I will show you how I mix up my soils, because I need to do a bunch of transplanting soon. So what I've got is a brick of beets peat. I've already opened it up. It comes in four slabs in a packet. One pack will make three cubed feet of soil. Um, I am also mixing it with some topsoil as well as some compost, as well as some other bag of soil that I found somewhere in the house. I may as well use. So what you start off with is a big chunk, big brick, like this. And it's pretty solid. Like you could break off a little bit of it. It's completely bone dry. So a brick this size, I'll probably use about eight or nine gallons of water to fluff this up. I've used a quarter of it already, that's what this is. And I planted a pineapple. Uh, you can get this stuff basically at any hardware store. I got this one at Rona, a uh, Canadian hardware store. You can also get it at Home Depot or probably any garden center as well. And you want to let it soak I'd give it at least an hour or two of soaking before you try to break it up because the longer you let it soak, the more it's going to absorb, the more it's going to just fall apart on its own. Alright, so I'm going to fill that up with water, get that going. I've also got a bunch of topsoil from outside. You can see this stuff is really nice and rich, it's really dark. But the only problem is that once it's squished up, it's pretty stuck. Like, this stuff gets dense. Um, once it's compressed, it's very difficult for the young roots to find their way through there. So that's what's so great about having this uh, coconut core to break up the soil. So it's very nutrient dense, very great of microbes and awesomeness. Um, what I am doing though is because I'm just going to use tap water to let this soak, I'm not going to add this topsoil until tomorrow. Same with this bucket of compost that I got. It's the last of my compost from last year. So I've got about that much worth of compost. So I don't want to kill any of the bacteria, any of the microbes that are in the soil or in this compost. So I'm going to add all the water to this, let this break up on its own, mix it all together with whatever's already in here. And now add the topsoil and the compost tomorrow when the chlorine has evaporated out of the water. And then I can start planting some stuff in it. So I will start filling this up. And there we have it, a uh, chunk of dirt.
swimming in a wheelbarrow full of water. <laughs> that water's all going to be gone in a few hours, and I'll let you have a look then. Um, I think I put about seven ice cream buckets full. Not too sure. Meh. <laughs> if it's not wet enough, I'll add some more. So, there's my coconut core in my wheelbarrow, in my garage. And I will be back once it's soaked up a bit of water to show you. Alright, that's it. Bye. So, it's been about two and a half hours or so. Um, and I'm sitting up here waiting patiently the whole time. No, actually, I forgot about it. So, yeah. Um, there's still water in here. Still water. But this thing is really huge now. That is all done. That's two thirds of a pack of beets peat. It's pretty awesome. No, not two thirds. Three quarters. I'm a good mathematician. Look, all the water has now been absorbed after I broke it all up. So now all I have to do is let it sit until tomorrow, make sure there's no chlorine left in it from the water. And then I'll mix in my topsoil and my compost. And I will have a wheelbarrow full of potting soil. Yay! Alright, that's about it. And I'm going to head out and go eat some chili. I made a great big pot of chili, so I'm going to go eat it. Alright, see you later, YouTubes. Alright, it's been about two days. Um, I didn't do it yesterday because... So what I've done now is my coconut husk has sat for two days and that's all the um, chlorine that's in the tap water so they dissipate. And then I've added a bucket of topsoil from the garden as well as a bucket of compost. And that's going to have all the microbes in it that will help the plant. So I call this symbiotic microorganisms that help the plants um, capture nitrogen, helps the roots grow, all the good stuff that soil does. And then I also found this bag of seed starter stuff. It's about a third of the bag. And that stuff is pretty much dead, but it's peat moss. I don't agree with peat moss at all. I think that it is a huge drain on the environment. Peat bogs are very important for cleaning out the water systems. They're a really vital habitat for a lot of species. And they sequester carbon out of the atmosphere. And we all know carbon is one of the contributors to global climate change. So by harvesting the peat moss, we're actually releasing that carbon back into the atmosphere, as well as destroying valuable habitats and the water and all that sort of stuff. Um, peat does grow, so it technically it renews, but it takes hundreds of years to grow back the amount that we harvest in one year. So, coconut fiber, much better alternative, does the same thing it as peat moss does with the absorption of water and keeping the soil nice and fluffy and all that sort of stuff. Perks to it are it doesn't alter the pH. The Coconut husk is completely carbon neutral, is pH neutral, meaning 7, doesn't do anything to it. With uh, peat moss, you have to add lime to it to balance it back out again. So I've added my soil, I've added the peat, I've added the compost, and I just have to mix it all up again, and I've got good potting soil. Uh, what else? Easter, Easter, good deal. 
Um, some people have some pretty complex ways of mixing up their soil and ingredients that they put in. My theory is cheap. Go with cheap. It's good. Try to cover everything that you need on a budget. The only thing I paid for on this was the coconut and everything else either I found the peat, I dug up the topsoil, and I made the compost. Not a big deal. And also proportions don't really matter too much to me. Some of this, some of that, whatever you got left, throw it in. It's dirt. Don't bring yourself out. And that's about it. So I'm gonna stir this all up and I'll probably do some stuff with it. And it should all be good and fun. Alright, so I'm gonna go now and finish my dirt. Yay, dirt. And probably fill up some more worms. That must be worms into like a tide slime and bucket. Be fun. Yay! Please do it, please do it. Okay. Alright, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!